Hello guys, I'm Azar and in this video I will show you how to make your own DC to AC inverter using CD4047. For this project I will provide you the complete Proteus simulation and Eagle PCB files to enable you to make your own DC to AC inverter and manufacture a PCB for your project. So before starting let me introduce you to the sponsor of this video PCBWay. So PCBWay has sent us this beautiful PCB for our project. So now let's get started. So for this project you will need a center type transformer 12.0.12 to 220 volts. So here this is my transformer. You will also need a 12 volts DC battery source but I am here using this uh, 12 volts adapter. You will need a CD4047 here. This is a CD4047. Two IRF540 MOSFETs. Uh, a 20 ohm resistor. A 330 ohm resistor. And two 220 ohm resistors. And these two connectors. One 3 pin and uh, second one is 2 pin. You will need a diode 1N4007, a potentiometer of 10K, a capacitor of 0.22 microfarad and an LED. You will also need a IC base but it's optional, it's up to you if you want to use this or not. Okay, And you can also use uh, heat sinks for the MOSFETs. Okay, so we have this uh, beautiful PCB made by PCBWare. So first let's see our circuit. So here this is our circuit. This is the main IC of this circuit which is CD4047. And here to pin 1, 2 and 3 are connected a resistor, a capacitor and a variable resistor. Uh, it is a potentiometer. These are used to control the frequency here at these pins pin 10 and pin 11 and these pins 10 and 11 are driving the MOSFET gates here and uh, they are switching the MOSFETs according to the frequency uh, adjusted here and uh, these MOSFETs are connected to a transformer which is a center type transformer and we are getting a scale wave AC at the output right okay so here this is the LED to indicate that our inverter is on okay so here this is the circuit and here we have a PCB 3D model and here we have uh, the PCB layout or PCB design so it is a two layer PCB I will show you how to order this type of PCBs from PCBWay here. So first you will have to go to www.pcbway.com and here they are offering a lot of uh, services here 3D printing, CAC machining, metal sheet fabrication, injection molding, PCBs and PCB they are providing PCB prototype, SMD stencil and PCB assembly, flexible PCBs, advanced PCBs and CNC and 3D printing. So to order PCB let just click on PCB instant code and here if you want to select the parameters by yourself so you can do it from here or you want to upload a Gerber file so you can add the Gerber file from here and upload your file and all the parameters will be selected by its own according to the Gerber file so click on calculate and save to court you can select uh, your country from here and you can sign up or sign in here and they will review this and finally you will get your PCB delivered at your home so now let's place our components on the PCB board we have and solder it and then we will test our DC to AC inverter. So here this is our PCB. So 
here we will place our connector this is a two pin connector so I will place it over here right and our R1 is 390k resistor so I will place it here right R2 is the potentiometer so which is a 10k potentiometer so I will place it here right so now I will connect the LED over here so the positive pin will be here at the top and the negative will be at the bottom like this okay so now uh, we have R3 so our R3 is 330 ohm so here this is the 330 ohm resistor I will connect it here right R4 is A20 ohm so here this is the A20 ohm resistor R5 and R6 are 220 ohm resistors. Okay, so now we will place our IC base here and our 3 pin connector here. Right, uh, two MOSFETs here. right a diode here so uh, be careful about the polarity of the diode here the negative side is here and the positive side is here so this is the negative side and this one is the positive side okay and now uh, finally we will connect our capacitor over here So uh, we have placed our components on our PCB. Now I will solder them and then we will test our circuit. So I have soldered all the components on PCB here as you can see. And I have also placed the CD4047 IC here. So now we will connect our transformer here. So here this is my transformer. Here we have three voids. This is the 12 volts so I will connect it here to this pin right okay now we have this pin so I will connect it to the metal like this and finally we have this one so I will connect it here so now our transformer is connected we will be getting the output through these wires here okay now we will connect our 12 volts supply so here I have uh, this power supply it is 12 volts right so I will connect it here I remember this pin is positive and this one is negative right so this is the positive pin so I will connect it here right and this one is the negative right so it is done now we will connect a multimeter to 
our transformer here. So here I have this multimeter. I will set it to DAC. Here this is the AC voltage is over here. Okay, so now let's connect it to this transformer. wires okay. so these are connected here uh, let me give it some space so it is connected now I will turn on the power supply here power supply and you can see the LED is on and we are getting here about 114 volts uh, so this is uh, AC voltage and it is a high voltage so beware if you are not uh, professional uh, I hope that you will have liked this video if you like it so press the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you never miss any update from me also if you want to order a PCB order it from PCBWay that links will be in the description below thank you